Okay. We went over arbitrary. No substantial cause without reason given. So right there, you, that tells you it's not law. So what is it then? It's abuse or threatened abuse of law or legal process. The term abuse or threatened abuse of law or legal process means the use or threatened use of a law or legal process, such as dragging your ass into court, whether administrative, civil, or criminal, in any manner or for any purpose for which the law was not designed in order to exert pressure on another person to cause that person to take some action or refrain from taking some action. Well, there you go. Now, here's here's the coercion. Coercion. The term coercion means threats of serious harm or physical restraint against any person. Don't pay your child support. Contempt of court. Jail. Debtor's prison. B. Any scheme. That's exactly what child support is. A scheme. Look it up. Blessing v. Freestone. Um, it's a plan. They, they list that all the time in the state of Florida anyway. It's a state plan. It's intended to cause a person to believe that failure to perform an act, <laughs> such as you better pay your damn child support, would result in serious harm or physical restraint against any person. Now I'm going to show you why they do it. This is a SMI. This is Xerox SMI. Xerox SMI is now the state disbursement unit in the state of Florida. They are a private business. It's Xerox, I mean. They are a private business. They are in partnership agreements with the Florida Court Clerks and Comptrollers and the Department of Revenue. They go through this back when they took it over, I guess, 2016. I don't know. They've transferred the bank accounts from Wells Fargo to Bank of America. Um, the new state disbursement unit went live on October 1, 2016. Okay. Uh, this is from their first month in business. It says it right there. New State Disbursement Union went in business on October 1st, 2016. Let's see here. Where's their collections at? Yeah. There's disbursements, disbursements, transactions. No, there's collections somewhere. Oh, uh, well, I guess these are the collections for October. They took in $153,639,344.81. Man, that's, that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good right there. That's what they took in receipts. That's what they took in for the month of October of 2016. Those are receipts. That's how much they took in. Watch this. October. Oh, okay. October. Disbursements. They paid out 166 million. Whoa, that can't be right. They only took in 153 million. They paid out 166 million. Well, is that right? 153. 166. Hmm. How did they do that? Well, there's $13 million additional right there. How do they do that? I'll tell you how they do that. They cash your promissory note. They get your credit information. They got your personal identification information. They, they, they know everything about you. That's why they come in or force you to bring your financial documents in. They use your identity to take a loan out in your name. That's why they force you to sign a promissory note. Those disbursements are paid back to the Corca Clerks Fractional Reserve Trust Fund for the FDOR, and they're paid back within 24 hours. It says all of that in this thing. Uh, look it up. State Disbursement Unit Update, SMI, Florida, Florida Court, Court Clerks and Comptrollers. It's a PDF. Look it up. It's all right there month of November they had a bad month in the month of November they only took in what uh, November they only took in 65 million oh not bad but they paid out 76 huh. 
65 million 76 million wow and this is all done within 24 hours let's see if I can find that in here These are all the counties in Florida using this business. Now, this was in 2016. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Anyway. I can't find it in here, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's all paid out within 24 hours. So, I've already proven that they've made a 13 million... In bone, or in additional revenues is what they call it. That's profit, people. That's profit. Additional revenues is profit. And I've just showed they went from 65 million to 76 million. There's 11 million dollars in one month. That's the month of November, and that's a slow month. In October, it was 13 million. I mean, there ain't no denying this. This is material evidence. It's profit. They're turning profit. They tried to get slick the next year by doing it up here like this. This is percentage by payments. But when you get down here, they get rid of the dollar figures. You see that? They just do it like this. But I, I did some of the math on it. And it comes out to around $15 million. So they've jumped up now. They're making more money in 2017. Now we're in 2019. wonder how much more money they're making now. You can find all this stuff, SMI, State Disbursement Unit Update, Florida Court, court Clerk. And let me show you, this is where I, uh, I wanted, to, wanted to show you something. Partnership, keyword right there, partnership with the FCC and the DOR. What's a partnership? Hmm, look that one up. It's a business, people. It's a business. Look at this, found this. See, this used to be... Lockheed Martin IMS. They're, they're the ones who ran the Wells Fargo bank accounts. Well, this is from 2001. Yeah, they're, they're making a lot of money. Look here, right here. During 2000, Lockheed Martin IMS, they used to run the state disbursement unit for the state of Florida and banked through Wells Fargo. Had a $580 million revenue from serving state and local government agencies involved in health and human services. Ooh, that's so nice of them. Transportation, public safety, and child support. IMS officials said in an earlier interview with Washington Technology that IMS would reach $700 million in revenue during 2001. So from 580 in 2000 to 700 in 2001. That's $120 million profit. And this is the private business. This is, the pri this is just what they're making by handling your promissory notes and child support payments. Now, how's this company making $120 million in one year and the state's not profiting? They're not doing this for profit. This is supposed to be helping you and your family. You see any reason why they would stop this? I mean, as long as we're dumb enough to keep saying, hey, you know, I'll come in and I'll consent to your authority and I'll subscribe to your authority and, you know, they're just going to continue. There's no way. I got another thing somewhere that I forgot to pull it up, but it shows plainly that, you know, they're doing research projects right now. This was in the budget for 2017 that they're doing research projects and they're paying out so much money for research on how to manipulate us better. That's supposed to return a billion dollars a year within 10 years time. A billion dollars a year for the state, for the one state. One state, that's the state of Florida. There's, what, 50 states? $50 billion. I mean, hell, I've already proven they're making between 11 and, and $12 million a month in profit. And that's just one month. One state. 
telling you people, they're ripping us off. Hope this helps.